Miss W here, and together we're going to solve a genetics problem based on codominance. The genetics problem we're going to solve today is chicken feather color shows codominance. If white feather chickens mate with black feather chickens, all of the offspring have speckled feathers. What is the predicted phenotypic ratio of the offspring if two speckled feather chickens mate? Before we move on to cover what codominance means, this is where both alleles are expressed. So you can see this in, in this example here. I have white flowers and sort of a pinkish red flower. In the codominance, both of those are expressed, so I have both white and red petals. We are going to be looking at this with chickens. We have white feather chickens and black feather chickens. In the speckled version, this means that both are expressed. So the first thing that I like to do is determine my possible allele. So in this case, there's two ways to do this. You can pick one allele and call it the dominant allele and have that be your um, capital letter, so black, and then my lowercase b would represent white in this case. Or you can just use, since there's real no true dominance here, you can just use a capital B and a capital W if that's what you prefer. Um, I'm going to stick with this method for this um, example because a lot of times um, this is going to be what's given to you, and so I want to make sure that you can recognize that. Our possible genotypes would then be capital B, capital B, which would be homozygous dominant in this case, which would be black feathers. And then we would also have, um, I'm going to kind of skip down a little bit, lowercase b, lowercase b would represent our white feathers. This would be homozygous recessive in this case. Really, there's no dominant or recessive in these types of problems. And then we would also have um, our heterozygote. This would be where we get that speckled color where we show both white and black feathers. All right, so now we're going to set up our genetics cross. We have speckled. Okay, let's do our Punnett square. Remember, these are going to be split up into two possible gametes. Line them up on the side. If these two gametes fuse, then we're going to have a homozygous for the black allele. If these two fuse, heterozygote. If these two fuse, heterozygous. And if these two fuse, homozygous for the white allele. And so for our phenotypic ratio, we are going to have one black chicken, one white chicken, and two speckled chicken. So this would be a one, two, one ratio. I hope this helps. Thank <laughs> you.